Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to write a program that can find the number of coins that exists in our image. So as you can see we have certain images which has coins in them. Some of them have two coins in the image, some of them have three and some of them have four. So let's start by first importing the basic libraries. So I would say import numpy as np. We also need cv2 and the first thing I'm going to do is get the image. So I'm going to say cv2.imread and I have all the images in the folder. Uh, I'll, I'll be uploading all those images on, on GitHub so that you can see. So the first thing that I need to do is actually resize the image because the images are quite big. So I'm going to say resize and image and I'm going to resize it to 640 comma um, 800. And uh, what I can do is now I can show you one of those images and I'm going to say first and then I'm going to say image. Okay. So let's see the image. So you can see there are uh, this, there are four coins here and the background is this. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually copy this image. And why I'm going to copy this image? Because I'm going to up use it later. So I'm going to say image.copy. And the first operation that I want to do is blurring. So now why do I do blurring? Well, because we will be using uh, contours. We'll be finding contours. And if you find contours just like this without blurring or without smoothing, then you'll find extra contours which you don't actually need. Basically the noise. So I'm going to say the kernel size is going to be 7 comma 7 and standard deviation of 3. Okay. So if you just want to see it or let me just not change the name and go directly and hit. So you can see the images are uh, the coins are not, you know, you cannot determine which coin it, it is, but on the right, you can see a healthy image. So now what we can do is basically I'm going to comment this. And the first thing that I need to do is need to convert it into a grayscale image. So I'm going to say gray and cv2.cvt capital C color and I'm going to pass the image img. I also need to pass cv2.color underscore bgr2 gray. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to threshold the image. So I'm going to say thresh equal to cv2.threshold and I'm going to pass the image or rather gray image. Now I'm going to use 170. Now this is something, this value, you have to do it for your own, um, if you have your own data set or own images. I have found that one, 170 works for me. So basically what it means that any value of the grayscale that is below 170 will be zero. That is black. And anything above 170 is going to be white. That is 255. And I have to pass 255. And last thing what I need to pass is thresh underscore binary. Okay. Now you can also go and um, display the image. So I'm going to just display thresh so that we can see what is there. Okay. So as you can see, this was our image. Um, the image was there and these are the four points. Pretty perfect. Uh, there are no disturbances here and there. So what I need to do now is I need to find the contours. Okay. So to find the contours, what we are going to do is I'm going to say contours, contours, and then we don't need the hierarchy. So I'm going to give dash underscore basically. And then I'm going to say find con contours. Okay. And here we have to pass the threshold and pass two more parameters. One is return tr tree. Oh my God. Tr tree. And we also have to pass cv2 dot chain approx none. Okay. After that, contours. Fine. Now what I need to do is, um, one thing that you can do is basically display. Okay. So image copy is equals to find or rather say draw contours. Contours. We are going to pass the image copy. And then what you are going to do is we are going to pass the contours, contours and minus one for all the images. The color that I'm going to give is green. So 0, 255, 0. And I'm also going to say that the thickness is going to be three. So here I can say image underscore copy, copy and then print F5. Okay. Draw contours. 
okay what i actually forgot here is to give cp2 so if i am going to see as you can see you can get the uh, controls over here fine so what i need to do is i don't need this i was just doing it for showing it to you people now what i need is the area so i'm going to say area i'm going to have an uh, empty dictionary and for i in range and what i can do right now is show you the contours itself so contours and let me just say pass for a second so if i am going to say here print contours you will actually be seeing the contours so let me hit f5 control is f5 okay we saw the image already i have to see the output so if you see this output it's kind of you know i mean it's not very uh, informative over here but you can see it is some kind of a numpy uh, list which is a tuple so i'm going to go for every contour i'm going to say contour c and d is equals to contours of i so for every contour what i'm going to do is i'm going to find the area so the way you find the area is you find the area by using cv2 dot con contour area okay capital a and then you can fi fi uh, fill in the contour and the area i'm going to save it as i comma ar okay so now let me go and print it out for you so first i'm going to comment this because i'm not going to show the image right now i'm going to print out the area okay so let's go so you can see we have got five of them for the image that you can see on the screen right now so the image contains four coins okay so if you look over here we have got five of them now no, not necessarily is the case that you will be having if there are five coins then you know we will be having five or six or you can have hundred also the thing is that the first one is actually the whole image that's why you see the number is quite big the area of the contour that is this one is like i think five lakh ten thousand okay even more than that and then the second one is just 7119 the third one is 8600 uh, 8700 and all that all that okay so for example i'm saying that the number of coins have no relation for example if i'm going to say three over here and run the same um, code you're going to see many more obviously this one was the area of the whole screen then this was one coin this was one coin this was one coin but again you see a sudden drop 18 0 75 not even 100 it nowhere goes more than 100 okay so which means these are smaller blobs so what i need to do now is i have to remove this area over your area over here and what i'm going to do i'm going to sort it so i'm going to say srt sorted sorted okay and what i'm going to sort area dot items i'm going to sort the area basically since it's a dictionary i have to use dot items okay now i have to give the key so i'm going to give a lambda function lambda function x and i'm going to base it on the uh, basically the value okay and i'm going to say reverse equal to true because we want it in the decreasing order okay now before showing it to you before showing the results i have to say results and then i'm going to convert it into a numpy array why numpy array because we will be needing it in some time so i'm going to pass srt and i'm also going to change the type to integer okay now we are ready to print it and hopefully it should so f5 yes you can see obviously the first one was the greatest and since this is in the decreasing order okay the highest one this one is at the top and this one is at the bottom okay so the first column here this one not the zeroth column zeroth column is different zeroth column is basically the position of the contours and this is the area of the contours okay so area of the contours is something that we have um, used it for and this is in decreasing order so what basically we want is we want all the uh, these names two three one we want the contours that belong to the coin the coin threshold is 500 so for this is uh, this is the third image you can see over here there are three coins so what i have seen is 500 is a good threshold for differentiation between the coins which is this area and some unnecessary blobs okay so 500 is what we are going to use and remember this is the first column and this is the zeroth column we are using the indexing zeroth column first column okay 
so um, since there are three coins i should be getting four because four of them are greater than 500 now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some numpy function so i'm going to say arg where np dot arg where results comma one is greater than 500 now i explained why greater than 500 and we want the numbers uh, or basically how many of them so obviously we will be having four so for example in this image there are three coins but one background is also there so which means we will be having three plus one four so if i print the number i should be getting four okay so i am hit uh, hit there and you can see the number four has come okay now what i'm going to do i am going to basically print these okay what i'm going what i'm going to do is i'm going to say for i in range okay and then i'm going to say one comma num why we are starting with one because we already know the highest will be uh, the highest area will be to the image and we don't want the image we already know so why should i take the image and the other thing that i need is a lot of space which i can get by going and hitting this okay fine so now what i need to do is i need to have the drawing function so for that if you remember at the start we had the copy image we had copied the image and now we are going to use it so i'm going to say draw contour draw contour contours okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass here image copy okay and we are going to pass all the contours now which contour we all need to draw we will need to draw only those that are the referenced by i and i is running from one to num num was the total number of uh, areas that were greater than 500 and we are starting from one because we already know that zero position is the whole image. okay i also need to give the color so i'll have to say 0 comma 255 comma 0 which is basically green and thickness is 3. lastly what i'm going to do is i'm going to finally end this program by writing um number of coins is and then pass num minus one because one is for background and finally i already have it over here so i am going to write i will say final and image copy let's hit f5 you can see over here there are three coins and here you also you can see the number number of coins is three and it has been able to successfully get the contours now let me go and change it change this one to one so we can see the first image um, you can see the number of coins is four and you can see the four coins are there and they are uh, bounded by the bounding box or bounding uh, contours now go for two let me hit f5 you can see two coins are there and number of coins is two now three we have already seen so we are going for four okay so number of coins is three as you can see it's written over here and also you can see in the image there are three coins now the problem or not the problem basically a, a trade-off came at five so number of coins is three which you can see number of coins is three but you can see over here some amount of um, problems have come now some amount is definitely expected so that shouldn't be a cause for worry all this code will be available on github and all these um, uh, images will also be available on github so i hope you understood the video and bye